Hello fellow humans and welcome back to another video. My name is Tash and you're hanging out with me today while we do a review of the new Sims 4 to the max kit. So to begin this video off I just want to do a precursor to explain my distaste for kits in general. I don't mind having micro content that is more niche and and aimed at like a very small section maybe something that you wouldn't normally get in a whole pack for example the moroccan kit i think they have their value but i think the price is far too high does that mean i wouldn't buy them no i would buy them because i'm an addict um who cannot control herself so i have to have everything sims and i know that that's what ea rely on when they release things like this uh, let's jump into the voiceover and we'll have a look at what comes with the new kit and then we can sum up our thoughts. So to begin with, I I really like the idea of going with a more niche idea in a pack. Maxim maxim maximalism? Words are hard, don't judge me. Uh, maximalism is a movement that's been around for a really long time. I don't know a lot about it. Um, but as you can see here, we're having a look at the wallpapers that come with this pack in all of the different coloured swatches. Some of them I really love, some of them I'm not so keen on, but I, I, I do appreciate that with this kit we get, we do get some neutrals, we get our white, we get our black, we get some nice bluey grey colours, some greens, some pinks and reds. So I do appreciate that we are getting some more toned down versions of these wallpapers compared to the more loud colour swatches that are available. So that does make them more usable, which I really appreciate. This one here I think is really cute. And I really love a lot of the colour swatches that come with this. However, I will say I'm probably never going to use that wallpaper. Maybe for a kids themed bedroom, but even then the colour swatches don't lend themselves towards kids. This one, however, I can see myself using the colour swatches that are available on this particular wallpaper. This is my favourite of the three wallpapers that are available. So I, I'm really excited to play around with this particular wallpaper and see sort of watch what we can do with it, mixing and matching and how they blend in seamlessly together. And now we're having a look at these window coverings, I guess you would call them. They go over, they're basically a trim for a window, right? So they come in a variety of colours. We've got some nice pastel colours, colours that will go with university and cats and dogs particularly, I think. But we also have our basic black and white, which, you know, all builders in The Sims 4 appreciate. And they work with a variety of different windows. I was pleasantly surprised by these. I'm not sure how often I will use them, but we have clear paned windows. Um, we have windows from island living coming up that you can play around with you can pop them inside the window you can have the top part be the window the bottom part be a wallpaper or vice versa if you like we have plenty of options to play with and i'm actually really intrigued to see what we can do uh creatively with with this object i'm i'm really pleased with this it's a really nice addition now we're having a look at the floor patterns. We did get two new ones in a variety of swatches. Or maybe I'm boring, I don't know. I tend to, to build with a lot of colour, but I can't see myself finding a place to use these very often because I, I tend to avoid building with busy floor patterns. And it's not something I see a lot of simmers using in their builds. But if you are actually going for a maximalism style, then I think this could work well for you. And it's a really nice option to have. I mean, I'm not mad at having it. I just, I would have chosen a different theme, I think, personally, if I was to choose what we could get in a kit. Okay, and now we have the second flooring swatch. Again, I actually don't like this one as much. I think I prefer the pattern of the first one. But again, the color swatches are nice. I appreciate that we have some more plain neutral colors as well as the loud ones. But like I said, with a lot of this stuff, I don't see myself reaching for it. I like them. Uh, I think they're nice pieces. I think the colour swatches are also really nice and well, well chosen. But it's not something that I'm going to be reaching for a lot in my builds. Even though I do like to build and decorate in a variety of styles. I wonder how many players are going to find these particular items useful. 
So now we're going to move on over to the furniture items that came with this pack. I, I will say I, f I could be totally missing items, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is everything that we get. So we've moved over to have a look at the furniture and I've just placed it down on the grass next to the area that I've used because I wanted to be able to really take a look and see what these items are. Now I will say uh, I quite like this chair and couch especially in the plain swatches and I could see using the bolder colors as an accent in a room that's a little bit more neutral. This piece as well, uh, this sideboard I guess it's called, uh, the colors are beautiful, the textures are beautiful, I love the shape of it. Same with the coffee table. It's just the color swatches, we don't have a lot of really neutral plain things to, that will work with other items. I can see myself using this coffee table a lot. Uh, the coffee table I love, it's kind of like a mix between 80s aesthetic and mid-century. I, I don't know, it's kind of, it's interesting, I'm, but I'm here for it. And those paintings, w there are some bomb swatches on this. I, I love this piece, I can see myself using it all the time. I'm low-key mad that we don't get it with some of those pieces separated. Imagine having all of those little pieces, and it, that goes for all of the group paintings. I think they should be available separately, but you know, that's just me. I quite like this mirror. It did take me a little while to figure out that the color changing was on the tops and the sides, like the edges of the mirror. Um, but I can see myself using that in more modern builds. The peacock. I have feelings about this peacock. Like, I think it's gorgeous. I will use it sometimes, I just don't see where I could be placing it. I do love this little decor piece though. I can see myself using this in a kid's room a lot, but it's not something I can see myself using... <sighs> I don't know, they're just... I don't know, maybe it's an accent piece. The rug, I will say however, I think is probably my favourite piece in this whole pack. I adore this rug. The colour swatches are great and the variety of different patterns on it is also fantastic and I can see myself using it all the time. Don't like the fireplace. Colour swatches are nice. I can see it going in a maybe a mansion or something that's a little bit more elaborate, gaudy, fancy if you will. But again, you know, it's just... I think that's the thing about this kit, right? Either you love it or you don't love it. I do really like some of the colour swatches here though. This piece is weird and I kind of love it. I thought by seeing the screenshots it would stick out from the wall, but it just like kind of makes it look like there's a giant hole in the wall and I kind of love it. I think it's really unique, really interesting. Not gonna fit a lot of homes though. So it's the usability of it is is a bit more limited than perhaps the grouped paintings would have been. And we have another room divider here. You know, I just don't think we needed this, to be totally honest with you. It's nice enough. I do like the plain swatches. I could see myself using it occasionally, but I also don't use room dividers that much. Oh, the lamp. Oh, the lamp. I think this is my other favorite piece. I think I have two favorite pieces from this that I will use all the time, and this lamp is one of them. It's glamorous, it's beautiful, and the neutral swatches are perfection. And I want it in my own home, even though it's not my usual aesthetic at all. And then we have another light fitting. This one's a, a ceiling light fitting. It's really cool. I like it. Again, it's only going to fit certain styles. It's less versatile. It kind of reminds me of the space lights from uh, The Sims 2 that you used to be able to get. So that is the To The Max kit. My final thoughts are very mixed. I have a lot of feelings about this kit in general. I think part of it is I really love the pieces individually. I think there's some really unique and really cool styles and colors going on there. It kind of reminds me of a mix between you know a, a hardcore 80s aesthetic and a mid-century modern aesthetic mixed with a little bit more of an Asian influence. But in saying that it, it works and I like the items. I like them on their own. I like looking at them. I just don't know that I will use it. But I think that comes down to the core question of are kits worth it? And these are more niche items. I would buy this personally 
Only because I need to have everything Sims and I'm a literal addict and a hoarder, you know. So there's that. But for the general player, I'm not sure this is something that a lot of people would reach for. But I think that kind of proves the value of kits in and of themselves. They provide niche items that perhaps we wouldn't get in a full pack. Perhaps, you know, with, uh, with styles that we wouldn't see everywhere and pieces that maybe wouldn't fit inside packs so we can get a more condensed, small, bite-sized version of an, a niche ID that we wouldn't get elsewhere. And I love that, but they're still overpriced for what you get. You know, I feel like this kit didn't come with a particularly large amount of items and I could be wrong. It's something maybe I need to go and investigate. Do we get the same amount of items in every kit? Now, bust the dust? No, it, but it has gameplay elements. But I feel like we got more plants than we did items in this kit. And I think it's something that you're going to need to judge for yourself. Is it worth it? Is it worth the money? And will you get use out of the items? I can see myself using the rug. I can see myself using the window trims and I can see myself using the wall art, like the grouped wall paintings, and I can see myself using the lamp because it's stunning. I can see myself using all of those in various swatches in a lot of builds, but that doesn't make a kit worth it for four items. I'm lucky enough to have been provided a code by the EA Game Changes Network, so you know, it's thanks to them that I have this kit, but I'd probably be peeved if I had to pay for it myself. So I think this is really up to you. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments below and tell me, do you think kits are overpriced? Is this kit something that you will get use out of? Is it something that you will, you know, use more than one or two items of? Will you use a lot of the items? None of them? Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? Let me know. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. Personally, I think it's a nice kit. I probably won't use most of the items from it. Some of them I will, and and I think it's overpriced. So that's pretty much all I have to say on this particular kit. If you guys like these reviews, let me know because I can always do reviews on packs as they come out. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in or you want to see more of. Kits, man. Kits. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and feedback down below. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Editing Tash here. I just wanted to point out that I am well aware that I spent half of my time looking at my monitor instead of the camera. Partly because of who I am as a person and partly because I'm used to streaming and partly because I'm just incredibly awkward. But hopefully if we do another one of these reviews or I have more on cam YouTube videos, I will remember to talk to the camera and to you rather than to myself. So also you can see my mic, sorry. Look, there are issues I need to sort out, okay? There are things I need to fix. I know I will get on it. I am sorry. Okay, love you, bye.